What? Don't look at me like that. I'm making art. Hey, Best Pally, I'm a white person. I mean, I'm Allie. Okay, that's foreshadowing about some drama. But first, let's get to turning this TikTok hit Roxanne into a Lady Gaga masterpiece. If you're not on TikTok, oh, hello, adult that watches my channel. I'm so glad to have you. Let me fill you in on a song that isn't by the police. It's by a bird. <laughs> Speaking of animals, did you notice something different? You're right. It's the eight foot bear that lives in my apartment. We're in the middle of Beverly Hills with him hanging out the top. You look fantastic. This might be illegal. Okay, yes, and also this one. I'm dog sitting today and my, you seem so excited to be here. Can you stop exploiting my cuteness for views? Thank you. Anyway, this is a hip hop song that I'm going to make as white as possible. Why? We'll get to that. Enter Lady Gaga. This is her new single, Stupid Love, and it is transcendent. I will say when I first heard it, I was like, meh, I don't know. And then by the third time, I was like, I'm never listening to anything else again. I love it. Now I'm so in, and that's why I want to do a song in this style. I'm renegating to Lady Gaga. Everyone's saying that it's like back to her traditional sound. I also saw on TikTok an ad that was like, hey, Lady Gaga's latest video was shot on an iPhone, which leads me to mention Skillshare because they're awesome for sponsoring this video. And also they have a course on creating cinematic video with your iPhone. That's dope. So to be like Gaga in her latest video, go check out iPhone filmmaking with Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray. Oh yeah, shake it off. How we doing? Do we look cinematic? <clears throat> Skillshare offers classes that fit a busy lifestyle. So they're short and you can learn and grow on your own time, you know, in between filming two videos at once. How we doing? What are you doing? Okay. It's also way more affordable when you compare it to in-person classes and workshops. Anyone want the fat chihuahua to come to your house and teach you how to lay around and yawn? You can't afford it. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 500 people that click the link in the description box to help explore your creativity. And then after that, it's only about $10 a month. So who's gonna get to it first? Who's the fastest? Not this one. Can you stop giving me attention and get back to making your stupid song? <laughs> okay, fine. That percussion is the standard Gaga sound. And then in this jam, she's got this bass going just like this steady 16th notes go the entire time. And it's driving and awesome, and I'm definitely doing that. Putting these two together because she sounds kind of techno synthy and robot y all at once. And now what I want to add is what she's got in the chorus here. This weird sampled sped up voice, which is gonna be me on this. Roxanne, Roxanne. What, don't look at me like that. I'm making art. I sang it half as fast and half an octave down and so now I'm gonna bring it back up and speed it up. Roxanne, Roxanne. Perfect, now I sound like a high chipmunk. I chopped that up so I have four notes. Roxanne. And I might wanna use this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Then I loaded Chipmunk Me into this, and now I have... Ooh. I actually saw Kaigo do this in a video, and so I've never done it before, but it's working! I can play around with riffs on what I want this to be. Okay, I think I have a pattern that I like a lot. Wait, here's one I came up with. It's just terrible. What? Chill out, Roxanne! Experimenting with it. Okay, whatever. Let's listen to the good one. Wow, you're so excited about my song. You just laid down. Now's a good time to explain why I'm trying to make this song as white as possible and why you're in on this experiment. In my last YouTube video, I covered the hip hop song, The Box by Roddy Rich, and it blew up and got 8 million views on Twitter specifically. And I should say, they were 8 million angry views. So many people got mad at me for being a white person covering a rap song and making it sound white. Like, I got attacked. There were threats. I can't even count the number of tweets that were the exact sentence, I hate white people. Now let me explain why I made the song sound white. It's because I'm white. I wanted to cover that song, and when I do, the style is gonna be... I can only be me. But then people said, you should leave it alone. Like I shouldn't cover the song. But it's not like the box is some precious untouchable gem. It's just on the charts right now. And Roddy Rich isn't some god that I can't go near. I mean, he is significantly cooler than me. What I'm saying is I'm an artist and I respect him as an artist. I'm not saying that the song should sound my way or his way. I just did it in my style, which happens to be 
suburban. I think a part of this is that I only uploaded the music video to Twitter, and so people that saw it there got no context on what I was doing and why. But a handful of people that did end up coming to the full YouTube video here said stuff like, after watching the video and getting context, this is pretty great. So I came here to hear the cover because Black Twitter wasn't having it with your cover, but I don't know, I like it. Honestly, I don't know. People are entitled to their opinions and they're allowed to be outraged and maybe I shouldn't have covered that song. Which leads me to this experiment. Excuse me, what are you doing? You want down? Okay, fine. I'm making this hip hop song by a white guy as white as possible. And I wanna see if that is just as upsetting. And you get to hear the full story here because apparently we're a separate hidden group of friends. I'll put only the music video on Twitter and see if Arizona Zervas is as enraging as Roddy Rich. And it's not like I'm not nervous. Hello, what? Yes, do you need to go out? This whole thing has made me seriously consider only covering Taylor Swift from now on. Okay, okay, I'm taking you out. Well, we went to the peepees, and also I worked on the arrangement a bunch and added a ton of synths. I'm decently happy with this. If I was keeping it just in the style of her latest song, I would stop there. Stupid Love is just that bass, and then maybe synth, and then back to that driving bass again. And it's surprisingly samey for Lady Gaga. And I'm trying to make this over-the-top white girl pop, so we need more. Let me show you what I mean by surprisingly samey. Judas, for example. Here's the chorus. And then, I don't know what this section is, but... And then something else is happening here. Then what's... what? Is this the same song? A lot of times her songs go on a journey and there are very different sections and... Also, Judas is a one-word name title. That's just like Roxanne and... Alejandro, ooh, let's listen to that. Fernando, who's Fernando? Changed up the kick to be like Alejandro. Are you sure about that? Because Alejandro sounds like not white. I mean, now I'm gonna get people mad at me for giving a dog a Spanish accent. Anyway, I like that. Let's throw in another synth. This is Money Honey, and that synth is Skrillex level white. Now the Roxanne melody line is extra, but let's make it worse. Her breakdown in Monster is the perfect beat to white people dance to. <laughs> oh, it took me a while to film that because I kept laughing. Okay, now I got that garbage in my version. <laughs> Great, perfect. I'm pleased with how sufficiently white girl pop too much this is. And what do you think, huh? Oh, you can't tell by my body language that I do not care. And also, you might still be racist. Hey! Although I do still have to add the vocals, which is just gonna be extra, extra. They gotta be chopped up and distorted and spoken with an upper-class blase, which I'm sure is gonna be infuriating. I mean, I don't know. This is an experiment. We'll find out. So how about you check it out and let us know? <laughs> All for the gram. Ladies love the gram. Roxanne, Roxanne, all she wanna do is party all night. Roxanne, Roxanne, never gonna love me but it's alright. She think I'm a hey, she think I'm a player. She keep running back though, only got the fail. Roxanne, Roxanne, you don't have to wear that dress tonight. Money with an attitude. Roxanne, Roxanne, all she wanna do is party all night. Roxanne, Roxanne, never gonna love me, but it's alright. She think I'm a hey, she think I'm a player. She keep running back to only got the pay. Roxanne, Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. And now I'm scared pumped to see how this experiment goes. And I'm glad you're on this ride with me. And also I did make a song starring this one a while back if you wanted to see more Fat Chihuahua that's down there. 
Yeah, she may be an idiot, but the one with me in it is brilliant and perfect, and you should go watch it right now. Okay, wonderful. Do your clappy thing. Yes, thank you, Fat Chi.